Welcome, my dear students. Uh, this is your instructor, uh, Dr. Osama Kashwa. And we will talk today about <coughs> the correlation, statistical correlation. Correlation, C-O-R-R-E-L-A-T-I-O-N, correlation. Correlation means it is a kind of relationship. What is the relationship to study? the relationship between two variables. We call them, one of them is called independent variable and the other is called dependent variable. Uh, it's like an example, the prices and the quantity demanded. You know, when the prices go up, the quantity demanded go down. And also the relationship between the temperature and the ice cream sales. In the winter time, we expect that the sales of the ice cream is lower than the summer time because in the summer it's very hot, so the sales of the ice cream will increase and vice versa by the winter time. So we call this the relationship between two variables. The independent variable is always affecting, but it's not affected. It is affecting the independent. So if we say the relationship between the temperature and the ice cream seal sales, then the temperature will be the independent variable, while the ice cream sales will be the consequent or the dependent variable. The independent is the temperature. Nothing affects the temperature, but the temperature affects the sales. So the temperature is independent variable and the sales of the ice cream or Pepsi or whatever is a dependent variable because it depends on the temperature. <clears throat> Let's go and see how we will calculate the correlation and what is the correlation coefficient uh, and what's the meaning of what results we will get. By our, in our uh, curriculum, we are getting use of the spreadsheet in solving problems, statistical problems, or any kind of uh, problems regarding the business, how we will get use of this. Okay, we open now a new spreadsheet. And like I told you before, let me close it back and open it back in front of you. So you will go from the main menu here. And if you pin it here on the, uh, from the start menu, that's fine. If you didn't pin it, you will get it from the all programs. You will find the Microsoft. So press one, press like this, and go. Okay, this table I prepared in uh, Microsoft Word, but I can, can I export it into the uh, Excel? Yes, I can export it, how? I'll stop on the cross here, look at this. Wait a minute, I will stop on the cross, then like this is able to be copied now. Then click, right, then copy. Then I will go to the Excel. Here we go. I will stop in the Excel and cell A1. Then I will say paste special, paste special. And I will go, I won't select the first one and second one. I will select HTML, HTML. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Here is our own table, which we draw already here. Now it is on the Excel with the same characteristics, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, if I want, as example, to um, enlarge, like enlarge here, enlarge or widen the cell where are the months and this and the spine. If I want, as example, to just bold them or write them in any kind of line, here we go. And here also, if I want to bold the month, Let's see, you got it. So we can do this, and we can you can change also the um, type of lines. Uh, like here is example, you want to make it Time New Romans or Calibri or Algerian. See the way it is. It it goes based on what you want, area black or Arial. Anything goes like what you want. Anyhow, uh, this was the start itself of how we will get the correlation. Now I want to get the correlation between the two variables between the temperature and between the ice cream. Well, that's fine. If I stop as example on this cell and go to FX, let's see what will happen. 
And I want to test the most recently, or you can get the statistical. The statistical will give you all the statistical functions from fx statistical. Then I will go to check out the correlation and see, here it is, C-O-R-R-E-L, correlation, and go. Okay, I want to say array one from B uh, two to I or to J two, from B two to the last one is J two, J two. Array two is from B three, B three to uh, J three, J three. Okay, so when I write it down, he write to me the numbers like I have here. Now he's like confirming seven and six and eight and nine and 18 and 22 and 24 and 27 and 19. This is the first serial. And the second serial is, uh, here we go, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 95, 110, 150, and 80. That's fine. Perfect. That's fine. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. Then I will say, okay, here is the correlation. What do I mean by 0 0.87? 0 0.87. Correlation, we said, is a relationship between the independent variables and the dependent variables. Here it is positive relationship because we don't have a minus. We don't have a minus, it's a positive. Positive means there is a relationship between the temperature and the ice cream. So it's positive and it's a strong relationship. Strong, why? Because look at this, the number is 0 0.8, which is more than uh, 0.5. So 0 0.5 and more, we call it a strong relationship. That means that the more, the higher the temperature, the more the sales of the ice cream. Again, I will say, the higher the temperature, the more the sales of the ice cream because the coefficient of the correlation is 0 0.875689, which means that, uh, it means that the sales are increased when the, when the temperature increase. Notice please that we said before we have independent variable, that is the temperature, independent, uh, because this affect, but it is not affected. The temperature, nothing affecting the temperature. Temperature affect the sales of the ice cream. So the temperature is independent variable, while the ice cream is dependent variable. Again, we said the correlation, I would say the correlation now again, the definition, it is a relationship between independent variable and dependent variable, but it's where it goes. If it is positive like this, then it's a direct relationship. Direct relationship means that the more the temperature, the higher the temperature, the more the sales of the ice cream and vice versa. The less the temperature, the less the sales of the ice cream. So the temperature is the independent variable and the ice cream is the dependent variable. And the coefficient of correlation here is 0.875, which means that it is a positive, strong relationship. 0.5 or more, this is a strong relationship. Less than 0.5 is not a strong relationship. Yeah, they are increasing, but not with the same degree or was so uh, was so high, like the increase in the temperature. So this was the correlation. Please study it. And thank you so much. And have a good night. Take care. Bye bye.